Today is a beautiful day for science. At 0203 on 14 January of 2022, Region 2932, newly named, had a 1.86 M-class flare that occurred on the northern left edge of the sun. This was followed with four C-class flares registering as a C5.5 at 0233 UTC, a C1.1 at 0329 UTC, a C2.1 at 1154 UTC, and a C1.0 at 1243 UTC. At region 2925 at 30, 1334 UTC, a beautiful display beginning with a class C4.4 followed by a C2.9 at 1408 UTC. The activity at region 2925 might have been a catalyst to cause the activity at region 2924 that occurred shortly after, which had a C3.5 at 1423 UTC. Before the day's end, region 2932 also had a C2.5 and and that 1939 UTC, and a C1.5 class flares at 1953 UTC. This region will be rotating into the optimal strike zone of Earth within the next few days, as it were. While flares impact Earth within eight minutes, uh, based upon line of sight and traveling at the speed of light, any of the CMEs that ensue as a result of a flare travel at a much slower pace. They do not typically impact uh, everything within the line of sight like a flare, and they travel uh, typically taking two to five days journey before it reaches Earth. Case in point, there is a flare, or a coronal mass ejection rather, from region 2925 uh, with the activity that we saw there, which will likely graze Earth, bringing a chance of what I expect up to a G2 level geomagnetic storm. This projection of the CME that occurred at 2925 is mostly ahead of the orbit of Earth. However, a CME can spread out quite extensively, and it can be much more significant if this one does and embraces Earth a little more. A CME has been noted to spread out as much as one-third the distance between Earth and the Sun. <laughs> the broad side of that, you know, 93 million miles between the Earth and the Sun, is 31 million miles wide for a CME. And this occurs as the material that makes up the coronal mass ejection uh, sort of changes. It spreads out from a collisional plasma to a non-collisional plasma. Quite a change indeed. And cheers and science on.